Hello guys, let's check out Shadow DOM in JavaScript. Here I have a select options, input box and a video. So how these native HTML elements are constructed using Shadow DOM? Let's check out the behavior between them. So here I have a select options and I'm opening a select tag in here. You can see the shadow root and options. So shadow root, if I open the shadow root, so every element will have a shadow root whatever the shadow DOM has. Here you can see the option one, whatever the selected value will be added here. So suppose if I select option two, option two is updated within that div. Okay, so everything is constructed between the shadow DOM of the select options. So here you see a slot as well as the pseudo select picker. Okay, and within that again, we have a different options which will be shown. So here we have a popover element which will be on click of the select options you see a popover right that is done by using the popover what is shown here let's open the options element so here you can see the shadow root okay within the shadow root the selected value the option one and slot slot maybe i'll give another video to check how the slot really works so in the upcoming video we can see that so let's check out the other input box so here you can see the input, you can see the shadow root. Within that shadow root, we have a pla placeholder type here. Okay, so type here is the placeholder which will be shown here, and another element which is which contains the value of it. So whatever I type here will be updated within that particular div. You can see that. Okay, this is how the input box behaves with respect to its shadow root. Okay. So now let's check out the video element. So video element, we have different controls for the video element and a lot of HTML tags are needed to make the video work. So here you can see we have within the shadow root, we have different HTML elements altogether. So which all combine to make up a particular video. Okay. So what happens here is Combining all these elements, we group it into a shadow root and use it all together with respect to DOM. These are native element, native HTML elements. So we can also construct a custom elements using this shadow concept, shadow root or a shadow element concept. Let's check out the same thing within the upcoming video. If you like the content, please like and subscribe.